Ars Gratia Artis. It's a poem about the divergence of, or convergence of money and art. At the sun-dappled marble Madonna, on a breeze through the soft morning air, wafts a chicory coffee aroma, or the easels round Jackson Square. There, posed for a painter in situ, a young subject asks sagacious advice. How could buying and selling of art do what needs done to most purely survive? Spoke the master, man pure fall of the hardest, for survival of duty innate. But it's he, oh she, that's the artist whom fuss feel compelled to create. Remember, all words were once pictures, that the glyphs and the runes lost in time were instructive by showing their stricture used to symbol, not merely define. The muse's heart seeks evocation, and the mystique of the sign moves the dance. So the purpose of art's emanation is to share and delight and romance. Can you tell me your full name? Chester Morris Dublin. When were you born? April 27th, 1952. Where were you born? Houston, Texas. But I grew up in Wichita Falls, Texas. Okay. Yeah. When did you start playing the piano? Hmm. When I was 14, there was a bit of a thing about that. I grew up in an Irish-American family in North Texas in the 50s. My father adored my mother. She could do no wrong. When I was 13, I, my mother said, would you like piano lessons? And she had the hands tested and the ears tested, and I was tested way below half in both. And I was a guy growing up in Texas. Would you like piano lessons? No, Mom, I don't think so. About a year later, I took an interest. I had an aunt that played a little organ, and she got me interested. So I went back to my father, and I said, Dad, I might be interested in those piano lessons now. You have to know that my father was a whole generation older than my friend's parents. He was born in 1910, and his mother that I knew through my teenage years was born in 1885. So I went to my dad, I, I might be interested in those piano lessons, and he said, oh, no, you turned your mother down, and you have every right to, but that's one bite at the apple. Mm -hmm. I guess you could just whistle up the wind for those lessons. And I was so P.O.'d at him, and I told myself, I'm gonna learn to play so well, I'm gonna make him eat those words. That was probably my biggest motivation the first 15 or 20 years that I practiced, mm -hmm. which was I started about 14. Mm -hmm. So how did you end up getting lessons? I didn't. You didn't? Never had a lesson in my life. But it's real cool.